She is the first black artist ever to get a Grammy nomination for Best Country Album. The first black woman to ever co-host the Academy of Country Music Awards. And now she has been named to sing the national anthem at the big game today. Earlier this week, I caught up with Mickey Guyton. Born in Arlington, Texas, you started yes, singing in church, but it wasn't necessarily first love for you, was it? No, it wasn't. I just did it because I was good at it, you know? When did you know, though, that it could be more than that? Because if you're not, if you're not inclined to it, but are really good at it, I mean, was that a tough sell? I, it was after seeing Leanne Rhymes sing the national anthem at a Texas Rangers game, did me just singing turn into, ooh, I want to stand there. <laughs> And I remember watching her and I was just completely mesmerized. And I was like, that's what I want to do. I don't know how I'm going to get there, but that's what I want to do. Do you ever take yourself back to that moment and think about that, yeah. especially now because your life is a whirlwind. So much has changed even in the last few years, right? For you, you have just been sort of catapulted into a whole new trajectory. You're a mom, you're married, you're a superstar. Oh, oh my God, you're singing the national anthem at the Super Bowl. Super like, do you, do, you, do you go back to that little girl once in a while? I go back to that little girl. I, I look through the course of my life often because I can't believe that I'm here now because for so long I didn't think it was ever, ever going to happen. And I keep looking back from that little girl in every moment. It almost feels like, like a, I, I don't know, like a movie within itself because I went through so much. It was like, God built me for right now. And I didn't understand it then, you know? So it's, it's, it's a moment. I'm so grateful. Look, and I know it's not lost on you. You, you know the shoulders you stand on. We were talking about the fact Charlie Pride, 1974, yeah. first African-American country star to sing um, uh, the national anthem at, at Super Bowl. So you're standing on shoulders. <sighs> that just gives me chills. It's just so crazy. Rest in peace, Charlie Pride. Um, I, I hope I am making him proud. I hope I'm making my grandma in heaven proud, and my ancestors proud. <laughs> They're all there with you. They're all cheering you on, yes, honey. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yeah. I really believe that. I really believe that. I believe it too. What? Tell me about the moment when when you got the call. How did it go? Like, did, did your people call you and let you know? Did did somebody like send you a text? Like, how did that? How are you alerted that you will be singing the national anthem? So my manager called me and he says, "Hey, do you mind hopping on FaceTime really quick? Jesse Collins would like to um, talk to you." And Jesse Collins produced the Grammys. He's produced the BT Awards. Like he's a black man that is like doing things, doing things. And he picks up the phone and he's like, "I got a question for you." And I'm like, "Yeah." And he's like, "So?" And he starts singing the national anthem, saying, "How am I doing?" And I'm like, "Well, you know, you, we, we could you could use a little help, but we can we can figure it out." And then he says, okay, so it's either me singing the national anthem or you at the Super Bowl. And I was like, oh, what? And I just started screaming, you know? like it, This is God, amazing. Please. This is amazing. It's just been, I'm just so blessed. Uh, arguably your biggest audience yet. I saw your Instagram post. I, yes. I peeped it. I'm shook. I am grateful. I am praise dancing. That is so beautiful. I, it's just, again, I'm a true testament to never give up on yourself, never give up on your dreams, and you can pull other people up with you along the way, and it's never going to take away from your success. And it's, it's a beautiful thing, and I'm just so grateful, and it makes me want to continue advocating for um, other, other up-and-coming artists and to continue the cycle. I love that, paying it forward. And by the way, that just makes so many Mickey Guyton fans like me super pleased because we want to see you keep doing your thing. Remember her name. Alrighty, I appreciate you so much. And we are going to be cheering you on at the Super Bowl. Um, dare I ask, who's your team? Oh, it's the Rams. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, okay, phew. Because I thought that was going to be a stressful. I didn't want us to break up when we just got oh, together. Oh, no, no, the Rams. <laughs> <laughs> my, husband is from me. my husband is from L.A., so oh, he just... Oh, go Rams all the way then. Yes, okay, all, all the right. Way. Yeah. <laughs>
stressful because I was like, what if she's going to the Bengals? It could be just like, we just found each other. We're going to have part two of our conversation Friday on Good Day LA. She mm. went, because by the way, as a first, you get a lot of hate with that. Yeah, and sure. she talked about some of that and shared some of her well, vulnerability I, I, I'm with I'm fascinated me. to hear the rest of this. Yeah. I, and I love that she's a woman of faith. Love, love, love mm -hmm. that. Me too. Mm -hmm. That was me great. Too. Can't mm -hmm. wait for part two. Yep. Okay.